rainwater, <laughs> rainwater, something else. We had a heck of a discussion on who's better, Webby or Boosie, who had the better project, and Rain had this to say. Like you was doing yeah, with yeah, three. That's what I'm saying. So Webby came out the gate. The devil gave him all the the, the tools to destroy himself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. News you can use. News you can use, man. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. This is another segment that we've added to Boss Talk 101 uh, um, platform. And, and you guys, man, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Um, you'll see us updating you, giving you got things that's happening in today's news. We'll give you things that and we'll give you things sometimes that's happening on Boss Talk 101. This is just kind of the streamline to uh, get you guys prepared what's, for what's going on from our perspective or what's going on with the channel. We just wanted to do it this way. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, tell us what you think about the uh, new platform that we've uh, launched, man, and the way that we're doing it now. It's 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 truly something different. We're going to be trying it out. Um, a lot of things to discuss. Uh, this segment is called This Week's Breakdown. This Week's Breakdown. So the first thing we got is um, we want to talk about the things that happened this week on Boss Talk 101, man. Hope you guys enjoy it, man. Like I said, again, like, subscribe to our channel. This Week's Breakdown, we had a, uh, we put out um, Baby Sam. Baby Sam is a, a artist from Houston, uh, lived uh, in LA, between LA and Houston. But Baby Sam uh, comes on Boss Talk 101. One, gives his spiel on ESG. That's his, his running buddy. That's his partner. Uh, ESG uh, actually uh, talked to ESG a little earlier this week, but definitely ESG is one of those guys, man, that's you know from the south. And, and you know how I am about making sure you guys get the correct information from the south, from the dirty man, from Texas, Atlanta, all of these southern states. Uh, even South Carolina uh, with my boy Dunk Master and, and just anything that's going on that relevant in Alabama, Mississippi, you know, and we do cover things up, up, up tight up, up on the East Coast. I, I rock with East and the West Coast, but just from the perspective that down South is uh, covering different things. But this week we're talking about uh, what happened this previous week on Boss Talk 101. Now I'm starting off talking about, like I said, Baby Sam, Baby Sam. Came on, gave some extraordinary stories, some extraordinary explanation on what's been going on with ESG, him uh, fighting cancer, uh, him, uh, you know, beating cancer, uh, him also um, being right there on the side of ESG when all the things going, going on with ESG and, and how you truly feel about him. Also, the fact that he was, uh, Charleston White pretty much got him a DP. He ended up getting a DP because he was on video with Charleston White, and this is what he had to say. All the way real, like the, the shit I was talking about was Charleston White. Yeah, yeah. I got a DP for that shit. Like, I game banging real life. Yeah, I got a DP for that shit. Just being in the video. You got a DP for that? Like, yes, yeah, a DP. When? Don't matter when, but it took place. <laughs> you know what Damn. I'm saying? And at the end of the day, that shit real. So it's like, these little thing you do. You gotta be on your toes with this shit. You know wow. what I'm saying? So, so you wow. didn't even know nothing about about his whole situation or nothing? Nah, as you far had as to him, be done seen him on the internet. I watched him talk down on the gang culture. So it was like, when I see him, I'm gonna have to, you know, but it's like, just this whole shit was bad. Just being there, period. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So if you if you're on video with him right there, you should have had a video of you checking the nigga. So that's kind of oh. how it went. So it just, you know, DP. Wow, you know this guy, man. Like I said, man, uh, I, this is the second time I got to rock with him, and and uh, uh, he, he's serious about Charleston White got him a DP. Um, next thing I want to talk about is um, I want to talk about Martina. Martina says a woman cannot be a pimp because we don't have a dick. See, this is what everybody needs to know. A woman cannot. I repeat cannot be a pimp. Now girls are players too, and you may can be a Mac, master in the art of communication, but you cannot, I repeat, you cannot be a pimp. No woman can ever be a pimp. I don't care if she a stud, I don't care what you are. You cannot be a pimp if you don't have a penis. 
Okay, you could be a madam, but you cannot be a pimp. There's no ladies pimps. That's a myth. Stop saying it. That's blasphemy. She seems pretty, pretty. She seems pretty darn uh, serious about it too. A woman, and I repeat, cannot be a pimp. You know, and she says that a woman can be a madam, guys. If you notice, Martina was uh, one of Kenny Red's hoes, and and we've been covering every subject, uh, just trying to educate people for one. But she's the one that's come out of that lifestyle, so we're having to try to uh, show people what that life consists of. Maybe they can take a true picture of who they really are, and, and you know, put down a pimp in. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the things that we have been covering. Um, that's one of the things that we are basically Martina is dope man I love I love her energy man and she definitely uh, we talk about God often and all kind of stuff just just trying to you know pretty much show love to, to, to her and help her in any way we can and same vice versa man um, Another thing that happened, uh, came out this week, a uh, segment, Moby Dick. He comes out, Moby Dick, uh, Mr. Ice Cream Man himself. Uh, he sung that hook on Masterpiece, uh, Mr. Ice Cream Man. He also, uh, master, he did, um, he only, uh, he, he also, he only did just the hooks and a lot of the beats. He's from Beats by the Pound. Shout out to KLC, which is a, one of my partners, man. Ever since I started this venture, KLC has been rocking with me. But he introduced me to Moby Dick, and this is how this went down at the studio. Like the, uh, Nate, I compare you to Nate, dog, when it come down to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People say yeah, because of the way that you, you know, the way that you hooking them, you know, the, the hooks, man. The dope game. I think these hoes and these niggas out to get me, man. The way that you was doing your thing, man, you you can't deny that 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 talent is there. Mm. But that story, you know, happened here. Mm. Dallas? Dallas? Yeah. Wow, that's hard. That's hard. You here tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. God don't make no mistakes. God don't make no <laughs> mistakes. So, you know, it happened. You know, um, me and my frat brothers we were road tripping from Kansas, mm -hmm. and um, two of my frat brothers were, you know, security there. Got in there and uh, got in there for free. Ran this, ran across my cousin. You know, inadvertently didn't know that he was doing a uh, promotional tour. Uh, watch the next segments coming out. The clips are coming out this week, man. We got to make sure we uh, uh, watch the clips. Watch what's going on. It's going down. Um, uh, Next week, Faison talks about reparations, man. And like I said, Faison is very adamant about reparations. And he's basically telling us that, you know, uh, that $250,000 or $200,000, you can keep that, give our children homes, cut the credit uh, crap out. He don't believe that the credit stuff is official. He feel like that's a, 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 a way of racism, actually. With, with slavery, that's why I'm coming because no, America has never said a formal apology. Right. A formal apology. Oh, so you so you saying all this happened? Yeah. Uh huh. And fuck you. So it's fuck you. Go to back. Fuck you. Yeah, nigga, we said it. So that's why I got a problem with all this. Yeah. You know, I, I don't, I'm not. I'm not talking about. Let's. I'm like, listen. Either we gonna address the problem and you guys don't uh, apologize number one or do something because people got mad at me about the reps the, uh, the, yeah uh, I know what you're talking what was it about calling? reparation reparations mm -hmm. what'd you say about reparation somebody want to give niggas $200,000 oh yeah you, you don't want it what the fuck we gonna do $200,000 so ain't no money what the fuck we gonna do with that <laughs> how much money would make it right listen to me you can't fix it the problem with that is there's no uh dollar amount no for for rape dope segment man wow and and, and then and, and like i said phase on love clips continue to pop out man doing crazy number of millions of views on F Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, they've been holding us back with Facebook, Instagram, uh, man, all these other t TikTok been going crazy, it's getting millions of views, that stuff is not slowing down, but shout out to Faison, man, appreciate him for always uh, ha having a relationship to stop through Boss Talk 101. Um, next we have... Um, Rome. Rome came by Boss Talk 101. Rome, nobody had seen Rome on a, a, any any level. Rome came by 
Rome is something else because Rome used to be a pimp and he talks about 17 holes he had all of them white all of them European but Rome is recovered Rome this was what he did in his previous life before he went to prison before he got all the entrepreneurship stuff going now going uh, now and this is something you guys got to realize we're bringing on people who have pretty much overcame their situation and showing other people that you can have a way out and Rome is one of those guys Pimpin Ken shout out to him he brought him through um, the, these guys are telling the extraordinary stories about how they're overcoming these things so don't get it misconstrued sometimes you can get into a clip and think that we're pretty much saying this is the way you should live no we're giving people an understanding of what was and so Rome had those 17 holes Rome had bought those 17 holes $250,000 homes do you hear me and also Rome had also turned around and uh, having to count their money, it was forty thousand dollars a month they were spending uh, just on bills and, and, and different uh, miscellaneous things. So, hey man, shout out to Rome for overcoming that. Rome now is a single parent, take care of his kids on his own. This is the kind of stuff you guys are, are hearing on Boss Talk. These guys have switched their whole life around, and you guys have to enjoy this. Don't savor the moment, moment and think that we're trying to uplift. No, we're showing you that people are overcoming these situations. So if you you get it twisted you can turn it turn the narrative and if that's what you want to do that's just where your mind is at so guys when you see Martina when you see Pimpin Ken when you see when you see Martina when you see Pimpin Ken when you see Rome when you see um, all these different people who are who, who are overcoming these situations um, there's more that's going to be coming out the ones who are changing their lives guys trying to motivate and strategize to help out people that are still in those situations and if you guys can't figure that out we got problems okay uh, comedian black run man one of the coldest comedians out the Dallas Texas area but he's been everywhere now you he, he's writing for different comedians out there he started off writing for Earthquake. If you watch those clips, you'll see that. So these are different people that you see and pop up on Boss Talk 101. Black Run is a co-writer for Wild and Out, all type of stuff, man. Be, be frequent in the 85 South show. So you guys gotta tap in the Black Run, man. And I love what he does. And this is the, like I say, this is this week's breakdown. Um, AD, AD leaving no jumper. You guys, if you had watched the clips, and some of these clips are still continuing to come out. We got our first episode of AD, uh, uh, no jumper. Uh, first episode of that coming out. Uh, he talks about it. He talks about leaving no jumper. He talks about the fact that, gotta make sure we uh, stay uh, focused on the fact that, you know, he had to move on, man. These guys are doing crazy numbers now with community, man, and fig community, and it's just dope, and it's just good to see brothers strategizing and standing on their own, too. Um, I think Mr. E Triple D Revenge was also one that came out this week, so uh, the full interview came out on YouTube, guys. Gotta check that out, man. It was Mo3's last uh, movie that he pretty much done. So you gotta, you gotta definitely check that out before he passed away during the time that they were filming this whole situation on Triple D Revenge. Go check that out, man. You got people in there like Bebe. You got people in there that's pretty much uh, representing our culture, man. Represent our people. So man, Triple D Revenge was one of the things that we dropped with Mr. E this week. I believe that, that sums it up. I think I got one more thing. I wanna talk about uh, rainwater, <laughs> rainwater, something else. We had a heck of a discussion on who's better, Webby or Boosie, who had the better project, and Rain had this to say. Like you was yeah, doing yeah, with yeah, learned, that's what I'm saying. So Webby came out the gate, the devil gave him all the, the, the tools to destroy himself. That's he barely can talk. Man, I don't, I ain't talked to him lately. I talked to his brother. Yeah, I know. What I'm saying, I'm saying he barely like you look at. He's still wearing chains from back in the day. And that was my favorite rapper too. Bro, that's just how he is. No, he just don't no, give he, a damn about see, all see, that. But see, but see, so let me ask you a question. So, nigga, I sweet John Jones somewhere on him, nigga. That's my nigga right there. Have you ever? Have you ever? He never evolved. And I can tell you right now. That don't ride with me. You know, I'm telling you, Pimp C was the one that pretty much helped maneuver those guys into the positions that they ended up 
uh, being in. So you know me, I'm PMC all day, and he's a part of that whole foundational build for the uh, web in uh, Boosie movement. So I had to make show, sure, make show sure that was recognized, and I also had to make show sure that Rain ain't lost his mind when he's saying that. You know, he said things that was crazy to me, like Lil Wayne, Mo3 better than Lil Wayne, Mo3 better than Tupac. Man, this guy right here is a down for who we rocking with, and he feel like that, and that's the reason why we had those conversations, guys. Uh, make sure you guys get in the comments, tell me what you think about this week's uh, breakdown. Uh, what do you think about us giving you the understanding of what all happened? And that's a lot of clips and lots of things happened in one week. I didn't even mention the fact that Mr. Goddammit, Mr. Goddammit uh, fight the uh, thing popped off as well. You, you, certain things, it's just so much. We, we put that. Uh, uh, full video out as well. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. So guys, uh, make sure you uh, tap into Boss Talk 101. Like and subscribe. You're going to be seeing the breakdown if you guys like it. Hey man, let me know uh, in the comments. Make sure you share our uh, stuff that we're doing here. The things that's happening on news you can use. What's happening on our videos. Make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you share. Run it down, man. Run it down. If we don't do it, who going to do it, man? The bosses have spoken. That's my team. That's the people that ride with me. They send them comments. The bosses have spoken. An organized uh, group of individuals who speak highly on Boss Talk 101. No matter what's going down, man, they, they jump in them comments. I see them all the time. They, they holding this platform up with the fact of we're going to comment. We're going to let y'all know we love what y'all doing. So thank you guys, man. For checking out this week's breakdown, yeah, I'll let your boy. Let me see now. Y'all know how I do it at the end. I'm trying to figure out if I got everything. Um, I think I, yeah, yeah, I think that that about does it. <laughs>